Hey guys, in this video I wanted to share with you my favorite fall lip colors. These, Some of these are really old to my collection, some are some new purchases. Most you've probably already seen me wearing in a lot of my videos. I've been obsessed with wearing dark lips like I am every fall, it's no, no different. But I thought I would share with you the ones that I've kind of been, that have been in rotation in my makeup bag and in my purse. I have low end to high end, lipsticks to liners and everything in between. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you wanna see what they are, keep watching. All right, so let's start with the combination that I have on my lips. It is the MAC Lip Liner in Burgundy, which is just a lip pencil, and it is a very gorgeous wine color. That's that. And then over top of that, I used MAC Rebel, which this, when you first see it, can come off a little bit scary and a little bit vampy and a little bit intimidating, but trust me, just try this. The most common way that I wear it, my favorite way to wear it, and the way I have it on today, is I just kind of dab it on and then either with a lip brush or even just your finger, rub it in to really get it into your lips. And it does look dark, but it actually comes off a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink toned. I love this color and I don't even use liner with it all the time. A lot of times I do just dab it on and rub it in with my finger and it just leaves behind like the prettiest little berry stain without looking vampy. Remember when I first bought that color, a lot of people told me to get it. And when I swatched it and when I saw it in MAC, I was like, no freaking way, but it's beautiful. So that's the combination that I have on my lips now. Another is Revlon's Black Cherry. And I actually really prefer this color over MAC Rebel. I feel like the color is just a little bit different and therefore I like it just a little bit more. It's more of a wine color. This is Revel and this is Black Cherry. It is definitely more of a true wine color and probably ex almost exact to the Burgundy Lip Liner from MAC. But again, I, I don't ever put this on full force from the tube. I do the same thing as I just told you. I just blot it and dab it in with my finger. I absolutely love this. I'm a huge fan of Revlon lipsticks. I think the quality is just outstanding. Okay, let's go to a cheaper drugstore alternative. These are the Jordana Twist and Shines, and this color is number six, Cranberry Crush. It is a twist up, which I love, and I think it's all of $1.99 or something crazy. These are incredibly moisturizing, have awesome, awesome pigmentation, and P.S. A lot of you guys have been asking about Jake. Mr. Jake, he's here. He's always here. He's just usually asleep downstairs. Come here, bud. Here he is. Here's my buddy. He's my buddy, smiling. He's um literally, like he sleeps 90% of his day away. He's smiling. <laughs> so that's usually where he is, and he's usually downstairs on the cold floor, but for some reason, he wanted to be here with mommy while I filmed this. Oh, excuse you. I love this guy. So... So there's Jake, there's your little update. Now let's let's get back to talking about some lip colors. Okay, you can go back to sleep now. Sorry I sorry I interrupted you. I love you. Oh my gosh, I think I just got no I didn't. Oh, close call. Not a good idea to wear white when you're filming a dark lip color video. You just gonna hang out with me? Love you, buddy. What was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Okay. So, as I was saying, this he's like pawing at me. This and the next color I'm gonna talk about are products that I keep in my handbag, on hand at all times, and for the purpose of when my dark lip color starts to fade and I'm out or I don't have access to a mirror really quick and I just wanna reapply or re-moisturize my lips, this is what I use. I just go right over top. It looks good over any lipstick and it just gives you that hydration back to your lips with a little boost of color. But by itself, it's awesome. It's one of those colors you don't need to be sitting in front of a mirror. You don't need to make sure your lips are lined. And like I said, for $2, you you seriously can't beat it. Next is from Revlon. It's their famous lip butters. And I have a lot of these colors, but this is the darkest one that I own. This is in Sugar Plum. And this one is another one that I just leave in my bag. I don't need a mirror to put it on when I'm driving and my lips feel a little chapped, but I want a little bit of, but I want a little bit of color. Are you okay, bud? <laughs> Are you alright, Mr. Jake? Okay? 
hairball. When I don't, um, when I want some color but I don't want a high maintenance lip color, this is what I use. Or again, to just refresh the lip color that I have on my lips, it's great. Very moisturizing, very hydrating. It does have a little bit of nice glossy sheen to it, so that's great. And I've actually used quite a bit of this, and I only just got it this year. Okay, another lip liner from MAC is Whirl, and I would say this is the more subdued subdued, what am I trying to say, what is this? This is a more subdued dark lip color. If you aren't brave enough to embrace the wine lips, this is a good place to start. It is more of a natural lip color. It's kind of two shades better than your lips. <laughs> um, I, a lot of times, just line my whole lip with this color and fill it in, and then I just use either the Revlon or the Jordana lip product to just go over top or a clear gloss but this is just a really nice natural color and I find that by lining your lips and filling it in with this you get the color to last a long time and like I said it's just it's it's a more natural color so if you are someone that wants to kind of dip their feet in the um, dark lip color pool this is a good place to start okay another MAC product this is the Viva Glam 2 and I've actually used quite a bit of this this is a color that I wear with MAC Whirl sometimes if I want a lipstick. As you can see, that's the combination. Really, really pretty. Again, on the more softer, a little bit lighter, a little bit less intimidating color. It, it has those like plummy, mauve undertones, but it, I would consider it more of a nude. And the last two colors are the newest to my collection. This one I just recent, recently, recently spoke about in my, what did I talk about it? My September favorites, I think. It's the Bite Beauty Cashmere Lip Creams. This is in the shade Bordeaux. I'm obsessed with this product, not only for the color, but the product itself. And I did talk about this in my favorites. It's uh, like a flat doe foot applicator. I'm gonna do it here so you can hopefully see. The payoff, the pigmentation that you get is exact to the color that is in the tube, but it puts on just enough product on your lips. It's not too drying, it's not goopy, you don't have to go back a thousand times and keep reapplying. It's like perfect amount, perfect application every single time you use it. And being that it's I, I don't want to say that it's a drying formula because it's not a drying formula, but the actual consistency of it is a little bit more dry versus a wet, slick, glossy formulation like the next one I'm going to talk about. And because of that, this is like a lip liner as well as a lip product. So I usually take the applicator right out, line my whole mouth with it, and then go back and fill it in with the flat sides of the applicator. And it's perfect every single time. It never completely dries to a flat matte finish. It does leave behind a little bit of a shine. I'm not even gonna call it glossy because it's not. It's just a little, it's like a little bit of sheen on your lips and it stays for a very long time. It has a really, really, really good staying power. But I would not consider this a lip stain where most lip stains kind of dry. Like the next one I'm gonna talk about is more of a true lip stain. They dry and then they're, they, left, they leave behind a flat lip color on your mouth for a long time. This one never fully sets, but that's not a bad thing. It's a really good it's a really good thing and it doesn't feel drying and it doesn't dry you out and the color is beautiful. I'm definitely going to be picking up more of these especially next spring and summer like the brighter colors because it's just a very comfortable formula to wear on your lips. And the last product is by Hourglass. It's one of the um I don't even know what these are. I don't even know what these are called. Sorry. It's one of these. And it's it's a liquid lipstick. It's a lip, liquid lip stain, essentially. And this is in the shade Icon. They actually have a lip liner and a gloss, the same exact color if you want the whole range. This one, this is the second type. This is the second one in this line that I've purchased. I really... To be honest, just purchase it for the color because I thought the color was really pretty. I am not like the biggest fan of the formula on this because it is one of those true lip stains like I was just speaking about. It does dry, it does set, you get a flat matte finish to your lips and I find sometimes unless your lips are super exfoliated 
and super hydrated and you don't have a trace of dead skin, it's so gross, on your mouth, on your, around your, on your lips, this product I feel like does tend to adhere to some dry spots, especially like on the inner part of your lips. So you just kind of have to be cautious of that, especially when you're wearing it out. I just find that it does tend to dry and it doesn't look so great. So you do have to be aware of that and you kind of have to keep going back and checking it and reapplying it, re kind of like moisturizing your lips with it. That being said, the color is so beautiful that it almost makes it worth it. It's not the kind of product that I want in every shade in the range because like I said, it's just not my favorite. But I do recommend the color because it is so, so, so pretty. It's, it's like in between a red and a berry color. This is what it looks like in the tube. And it's just so, so, so pretty. So if you can kind of get past that, the whole formula of it, I definitely would recommend it. Maybe you'd want to try the liner and the gloss instead. If I, I think if I was re repurchasing, that's the route I would go. But I like the idea of, you know, putting a lip product on and not having to worry about it. It's just kind of not the case with this. And it wasn't the case with the other color that I have, which is kind of weird that I went back for this one. But I just, like was obsessed with the color so that is all I have to say about that I did want to just note if you are going to be getting a lot of these darker colors I don't think it would be a bad idea to get some kind of clear wax lip pencil this one I have is from Too Faced their borderline pencil and I don't even think they make this color anymore or this this color this pencil anymore but pretty much every brand including elf which you can find at Target for like a couple dollars make something like this it's just a clear pencil and you outline your mouth with it and it basically prevents a border for any kind of dark or any lip product in general to bleed out and I tend to use these a lot when I'm wearing a red lipstick or a red color but with the darker colors the wine colors I do sometimes use these now that being said I wouldn't use this and a pencil lip liner because it's just too much and you don't need that this kind of serves the purpose but if you're just going to use one of these or even just a lip stick as a stain like I said and you don't want to line your lips with a with an actual color I think these are really great I did have another liner which is beat from Mac which is a very it's almost like a magenta wine color I cannot find it but that is another lip liner that I am a huge fan of and I think is a really good color for fall if you want to swatch it the next time at your that you're at the Mac counter so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will have links to all of the colors that I mentioned below if you have any staples for fall definitely share them in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you soon bye